John Garland 5-1 in his career against the Florida Marlins. Meanwhile, Ricky Nolasco faces the Dodgers for the first time since 2008. Andre Ethier, all eyes on him in first inning. He extends his hitting streak to 22 games. That is tied for the longest ever in April. He joins his former manager, Joe Torre, in that club. To the bottom of the sixth inning, Chris Coughlin. And Coughlin hits another one to right, hits it well. Ethier back, it's gone! Wow! With a shot to right, Coughlin makes it 2-1, his second of the night. Second career multi-homer game for Coughlin. To the top of the seventh, Ryan Webb on in relief, and Jamie Carroll singles up the middle. Yvonne DeJesus comes in. Dodgers take a 3-2 lead. Go to the bottom of the eighth, this one far from over. Vicente Padilla out of the Dodgers' bullpen in a 4-2 ball game. Gives up the single to Gabby Sanchez. Coughlin comes in. Now it's 4-3. to three. Next up, Mike Stanton lifts one to center field. Omar Infante is going to try to tag from second, and Matt Kemp absolutely guns him out. A perfect strike. Not a good idea from Infante. It's still a one-run game. Bottom nine, Jonathan Broxton on to close it. Pinch hitter. Hanley Ramirez, he's been slumping, breaks out of a two for 27 with that pinch hit. Runners on the corners with two out, and then Scott Cousins, it looks like a game ender, but slips under the glove of Carroll. The error allows Bonifacio to score to tie the game up at four, and look at Emilio, he knows what's going on right there. Later, Infante trying to win it for Florida with the bases full. 1-0, line drive, left field, Ball! Walk off! Oh, he crushed that ball! So Infante atones for the base running gaff in the eighth inning, and the Marlins walk off with a 5-4 win. It's their ninth come-from-behind victory this season.